I was going to talk about uh, women and power, the lessons of the 20th century, because I think there's a lot of triumphalist talk that masks the real historic situation. And apparently people have decided that because I don't think that post-operative transgender men, uh, i.e. M2F, um, tr transgender people are women, I'm not to be allowed to talk. But surely if a, a man who feels that he actually would like gender reassignment to make him, her, feel more comfortable in her body, then that's what should be done. That's, they should be allowed to do that. I'm not saying that people should not be allowed to go through that procedure. What I'm saying is it doesn't make them a woman. It happens to be an opinion. It's not uh, a prohibition. Carry on if, if that's what you think it is you want to do. I've been accused of inciting violence against transsexual people. That's absolute nonsense. But do you feel that the transgender community has too big a voice now? It seems to me you're saying that they're becoming what you might, what feminists were often called strident. <laughs> yes, but they very seldom were strident, alas. Um, I think that a great many women don't think that um, post-operative or even non-post-operative transsexual M to F transsexual people uh, look like, sound like, or behave like women. But they, they, don't, they daren't say so. But just because they daren't say so doesn't mean that that person can't feel like that and feels more comfortable with themselves. Yeah, but so what? I, that's not my issue. I don't even talk about it. Not everybody does feel comfortable, by the way, post-operatively. There's been a, a couple of cases I found very interesting where the actual acceptor of the procedure has felt that it's been a disaster. But for those who do not feel it's been a disaster and feel more comfortable, then do you understand how they might feel that you have been hurtful towards them? People are hurtful to me all the time. Try being an old woman, I mean, for goodness sake. People get hurt all the time. I'm not about to walk on eggshells. So you believe in free speech, really, no matter what? Well, not quite no matter what. You don't have to say everything that's in your mind. You do use tact in the usual way. I would, for example, uh, with someone with, who w wished to be known as female, use female speech forms as a courtesy. Now, though, um, people who are intersex are feeling a little more confident about coming forward and, 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 and a, a level of acceptance. But for, for example, a woman who outwardly has female genitalia but inside has testes and doesn't wish to have them rather than accepting that she has them, she should be allowed, shouldn't she, and offered the chance to remove these inner testes. We remove undescended testicles from men because they're dangerous. I'm sure they wouldn't be allowed to just lurk uh, because that would be, a pro I think that would be a problem. I mean, physically a problem. But then it's also a problem if what you have to do after sex uh, gender reassignment is use steroids every day of your life. That's not a happy outcome either. But it may be a happy outcome for them and they may feel that you are in a way uh, denigrating them for taking that road. Oh, don't even talk about them. They're not my issue. I, don't, I haven't published anything about transgender for years. So how do you feel about the idea that Newnham College, your own college, is considering not giving you an honorary doctorate, apparently because of what you've said about the transgender community? There's been two votes at my college on the question of whether or not I should have an honorary degree. And um, I'm not going to get one. They've been turned down, which is thought by some people to be astonishing, but not by me. So someone like Caitlin Jenner, for example, who is been in the <laughs> yes, who's been in the front of lots of magazines and apparently is, I think I'm right in saying, uh, getting an award for being a kind of glamour woman of the year. What do you think about that? I think it's misogynist. I, I think misogyny plays a really big part in all of this. Um, that a man who goes to these lengths will be a better woman than someone who was just born a woman. But are people, you would say, necessarily born a woman or born feeling female? And if he feels more female... It seems to me that he, uh, that what was going on there is that he he, she, uh, wanted the limelight that the other female members of the family were enjoying and has conquered it just like that.
Will Young apparently has a new video out, I don't think you've seen it, in which a transgender person is going down the road and is abused. Reasonable position? Um, am I mistaken in thinking that this individual is naked mm -hmm. and running down the street with just a hand over his, her genital? Mm -hmm. You try running with your sagging breasts down the middle of the fucking street and see what people will throw a, ra a, a blanket over you and grab you and, and call the police for fuck's sake. It is simply not true that intersexual people suffer in a way that other people don't suffer. Would you ever consider saying something more ameliorating? No. In, I'm getting fed up with this, you know. I've had things thrown at me. I've been accused of things I have never done or said. Uh, people seem to have no concern about evidence or uh, indeed um, even about libel. If a man is, has his gender reassigned and outwardly and he feels inwardly is a woman, in your view, can he be a woman or not? No. Do you understand how people feel that's insulting? I don't care. People get insulted all the time. <laughs> Australians get insulted every day of the week. Finally, um, if your safety is guaranteed, will you go to Cardiff? I'm getting a bit old for all this. I'm 76. I don't want to go down there and be screamed at and have things thrown at me. Bugger it. It's not that interesting or rewarding. Jeremy Greer, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>